he's a young man. You can't judge a judge a kid by his haircut. That's for sure. Sharknado, man. Yeah. Sharknado. Meet Johnny Ray. Would y'all like some water? He's got a hairstyle that you can't help but tip your cap to. When he's not hydrating the East Central football team, the Hornets manager collects video games that stack taller than those follicles that produce those golden spikes and provoke discussions about shark fins. When I first saw him, it was our first spring practice, and uh, I saw a kid with a mohawk. I saw this, this big young and walking with a mohawk. I told Coach Bloss, I said, go get that distraction off the field. This kid's out here with a painted mohawk walking around where we're practicing. Well, I walked up to Johnny Ray. I said, son, what are you doing? He said, coach, you said I could be a manager. I said, did I really? He said, you sure did. I said, are you going to be a good one? He said, I'll be a great one. I said, all right, you're our manager. I played RTC, done RTC my ninth grade year. Uh, worst decision in my life, hated it, hated it. I grew up, I didn't really care about cars. Went up and up and I just love them, I love cars. That increasing love of Johnny's wrecked what was supposed to be a fun night out with three of his friends going to an East Central football game in November of 2012. And I know he thanks God every day to still be alive. Me and my friend was talking, I was past that seat when he we came around the corner too fast. He clipped the mailbox, he freaked out, yanked the steering wheel to the side, turned the truck sideways, flipped. Uh, I flung out the truck. I flew out the truck, landing face first on the concrete. I busted my teeth out. I broke my jawbone, broke my back, broke my finger, uh, lacerated my liver, bruised my lungs. Were you still conscious when all this happened? I was in shock. I don't remember none of it personally, but yeah. They said, uh, a lot of people told me when they took the truck off me, I stood straight up. But. The truck was on you. Mm hmm. Truck laying on my leg. Yeah, I was the only one that got hurt. Everybody else was un unscathed? Mm hmm. Perfectly fine. Johnny Ray was not wearing a seat belt that night. He was in the hospital for four weeks as a result and missed that same amount of school. I didn't know what to think. Just. I don't know. Ah. I would realized what happened, but didn't want to believe it. Now Johnny is looking to start his future. He plans on driving that video game obsession to Full Sail University and assemble a career. He had a near-death experience that I'm sure probably changed his life. The sky's the limit for Johnny Ray. He's going to do some great things. With or without his mohawk, he'll do some great things. 